Hello, with all the regal splendor, we warmly welcome you to the Princess Diana News Channel. Now, let's get to the video. Welcome, everyone, to my channel where we fearlessly embrace the truth, ladies and gentlemen. I am incredibly enthusiastic today, and I assume you all are aware of the ongoing drama surrounding Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Piers Morgan has recently made a scathing critique on his television talk show, strongly criticizing the couple for remaining silent amid the controversy surrounding Omid Scobie's endgame. So, let us carefully analyze this unfolding story and cast doubt on the genuineness of Harry and Meghan's behavior. Now is the moment to request evidence from those who appear to be engaging in a risky act of portraying themselves as victims, resulting in harm to the royal family's image. Piers Morgan, known for his direct communication style, has publicly criticized the Duke and Duchess for choosing to remain silent regarding the controversial allegations mentioned in Omid Scobie's book. The book, which could potentially trigger a legal dispute, claims to reveal the anticipated skin color of Prince Archie prior to his birth. It is quite surprising, isn't it? What is even more surprising is that Harry and Meghan have not responded at all. Morgan raises a valid point by questioning why the couple, who are usually vocal about correcting media injustices, have chosen to remain silent in this particular case. Why are they remaining silent if they are not the ones responsible for these allegations or if they do not agree with them? This question deserves a legitimate response. In an escalation of the situation, Conservative MP Bob Seeley is advocating for a legislation that aims to revoke the royal titles held by Harry and Meghan. Guess what? Piers Morgan is in favor of it. Many individuals share his belief that if one does not wish to be a member of the royal family, that is acceptable, but it is important not to discredit the institution or maintain its privileges. This sentiment might strike a chord with many of us. Now, it's time to discuss Omid Scobie, the individual at the center of attention. Morgan fearlessly refers to him as a Sussex lapdog, regardless of Scobie's insistence that he has no intimate ties with the couple. It is quite surprising that the author denies mentioning the racist member of the royal family in his book, especially considering that the Dutch version of the book includes the names mysteriously. It has the intrigue of a thrilling plot twist, doesn't it? Scobie claims that he merely wrote the English version, and somehow, the names mysteriously materialized in the Dutch translation. Seriously? That seems quite improbable, even for a creative writer. According to the Times, the Dutch publisher received an initial version of the book which did include the names. As the story progresses, the situation becomes more complex and doubts arise about the trustworthiness of those implicated. During a recent interview, Scobie expressed his frustration, emphasizing his commitment to abiding by the legislation related to the matter. However, everyone has access to this kind of information, not just him. There have been claims that journalists in Fleet Street have been aware of these names for an extended period, casting doubts on the ethical standards upheld in handling such delicate issues. As the scandal intensifies, there are strong recommendations for the Sussexes to cut ties with Endgame in order to protect their reputation. Renee Smith, an expert in public relations, highlights the criticality of well-planned communication and managed storytelling. The royal family emphasizes the importance of unity and stability, carefully attending to and refuting any detrimental allegations. The Sussexes must effectively navigate between being open and maintaining privacy. Ultimately, our current situation can be characterized as a complex network of deceit and silence, casting doubt on the trustworthiness of influential individuals. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex bear a responsibility to both the public and the royal family to put an end to their silence and produce the desired evidence. Until that time, doubts will persist about their motives, causing us to ponder whether we can truly rely on the statements of individuals who persist in hiding the facts from us. That's it for the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and share with those interested. 
If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for joining us, have a great day, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.